it's getting it's not getting annoying or aggravating it's getting sad at what people will think it's, it's sad it's, it's also sad what people think they could accomplish by cutting corners and you try to help them the best was the one you know i was gone and i i wanted to give social media a break yeah i noticed you could just look at social media so much before you go you know what I want to shoot myself in the fucking head. It's true. And, and Twitter doesn't bother me. It's Facebook where people are just really stuck. I don't even go through that shit it's, anymore. It's I don't really, even look at it. So I, I come back to 100 messages. You know, yeah. And I'm going through them. Some of them you put a thumb. Some of them you write back. And I got the one from fucking, you know, Milwaukee that they paid. It was a great show. And then pictures of me and them and. And oh then, yeah, and then fucking a whole article on why we didn't party afterward or hang out. That that's what they came to the show. They were for, upset that they paid twenty seven fifty. I go well. I always try to put a dynamite comic in front of me. Yeah, and I try to keep my ticket prices low. I go. You were looking for a friend for twenty seven fifty. You weren't looking to see a show. I go get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> or join a fucking Lonely Hearts Club because I provide a show. It's also I'm weird. I'm not providing a fucking, you're not going back to the hotel room with me. I just did two shows. I really am not in the mood to talk. I just did two it's shows. It's exhausting, but people don't Off understand, and I lungs, get it. That Yeah, you want to say hello and give them a hug yeah. and take a picture, but don't ask me about World War Three and what I think about the Joe Rogan controversy with Mencia of, of 2005. I know. That's the last thing I want to hear on my mind. I know. I don't. I can't even think. I've just been scraping for material. Also, though, for two hours, scraping the bottom of my mind. Yeah. Temples. You're going deep for your material, and now you want to ask me a question about oh, who does not win, Sharon or Ayakunta? <laughs> I have no fucking idea. I'm I not know. even thinking about. And that. they don't realize that they're one person, and then there's 300 more I'd coming down you, the I'd line. Ra- I was learned to keep your mouth shut and put your hand out and say hello. That's it. Before you're gonna say something wrong, don't say nothing. I know. Because what you're gonna say is wrong anyway. Just put your hand out and say it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. What's your name? Yeah. I always ask people what their name is. I want to know what their name is, and then they tell you, and then you take a picture with them, and that's it. I don't have time for a short story. There's 60 people on the line. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. You don't want to do this to them, and you don't want to do this to yourself. Well, the thing is, they would never do that. Could you imagine someone messaging, like, Eddie Van Halen or, like, and going, hey, after the show, why don't we party? Like, they would never do it to, like, a musician or, like, an actor in a Broadway show. I don't know why, because, because we come out and meet people, which is a generous thing to do, really. Like, no performer. I don't sell merch. You don't sell merch. I don't sell merch. You don't have to reason. come out. Yeah. For that particular reason. I don't I sell it either. I want you to say... Hello, and not feel like you have to give me twenty five dollars for a fucking t shirt. Same. Don't, I don't want. This, I don't want. And I don't sell I it because I, I don't want to be obligated right. to come out. <laughs> I want to shake your hand. <laughs> yeah. And I want you to tell me you like the podcast. This is why you came. You, you, you like a subject matter. If I want to sell you something, I knock on your door. Yeah. All right, and sell you encyclopedias, a steaks door to door, whatever. There's just so many aspects of it that. People really don't understand. I'm not there to sell you a t-shirt. I'm you the just, same way. I'm happy I got you for the twenty seven. That's how I feel. But you're I'm like happy that you got a babysitter. You're not a nickel and dimer. You're not someone that seems ever to me that you're in it for. I mean, making money is great, but money, you're not money driven. You know why? Because it's not going to get you what you want. That's how I end, am. Which is happiness. Yep. All we're searching for is to wake up with a smile on your face and not be like the rest of fucking America that's depressed. Or, or upset about the political climate. Or, you it's know, true. The Koreans are going to strike us. You Just can't. be happy. Well, also how lucky we are. Like I that- ate shit for 40 years of my life. I ate shit. My mother died when I was 16. Yeah. And then for I don't know how many years after that, I, I did it on purpose because of my love for comedy. I kept a low nut. I didn't drive a Cadillac. I didn't try to prove to people I was something I wasn't. Right. And then it was such a low nut that I kind of enjoyed it. That's how I am. That's why I have a Hyundai. (laughs) You know, I come from a society where there's no flash. Yep. There's no flash for various reasons. For the most various is, I don't want to make somebody feel bad. I'm not that person. But I'm almost uncomfortable around. I I love Jews too much. 
<laughs> to get a BMW. Do you understand me? No, you don't. Fuck? Yes, I do. No, I mean, you don't. Yes, I, do. I couldn't see yes, you in a I BMW. I, I wouldn't get a BMW. Yeah. I don't care how much money they give me. I don't. I belong in a Subaru or a Ford truck. Yeah. That's who I am. Yeah. And that's who I'll always be. Your blue collar dude. Whether a million dollars or not, that ain't going to make you happy. Well, that's how it's I am, so too. It's so funny when you're 21. You think You can't will. wait to have a Testa Rosa and have bitches on your arm and do drugs every night. And let me tell you something. It ain't no fucking bargain. There's a price to pay. Because once the cocaine and the money are gone, all those things go with it. It's Happiness true. always sticks. All you're thriving That's for it. in this life is to laugh, laugh at yourself. You know, when I fart on a plane, <laughs> I fucking love it. You, you farted in here and you laughed. Oh, yeah. I fought in here and <laughs> I laughed. Me and were traumatized. When you're, when you're fucking, you know what? I've been so broke that I, you know. And I still find a way to laugh. When I used to Me drop, too. When I used to have to drop my daughter off when she was six, you know, Jacqueline, my first daughter, I would cry when I drop her off. So guess what I did? I forced myself to do comedy after I dropped her off as an exercise because I want to be able to do comedy if my fucking mother died that morning. Well, you've done it. I want to we've be done able, it. We've done it. The we've done Brody it. Passed yeah. in Vegas. I want to be able to do comedy if my, I just buried my mother that night. Yep. I still got to be able it's to hard, do comedy. It's hard, but you have you to. You got to train yourself. You have to. And there's pain and there's this yeah. and there's that. That's part of that the stand-up. That was hard. Up. That was really fucking That's hard. That's part of the stand-up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You have to train yourself under all these conditions. You know what? There's times if you really dive into stand-up, you're going to have to sleep on some of these cops for six months at one point in your life. Easily. Easily. Yeah. If you really You'll love You'll be homeless. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is homeless. <clears throat> Lee, you're going to be homeless. Get ready. And <laughs> you have to be prepared to go. I remember when Ralphie May was homeless and Joy Medina took him in. Dude, stand up people will. I used to drive to San Diego. I would spend. I didn't even actually. I didn't even have a car at the time. I would take a train to San Diego. It was like thirty dollars each way or something. Stay in a hotel and only get paid twenty dollars for the set. Like I was losing money to do spots yeah, just because you want the spots. That's it. But I feel like it's like building any business. You invest in the business. Well, you have to. You're a corporation. Yeah. You're just a CEO of a corporation, and you know that your stock is low. The thing is My that my stock is low right. Yeah, the thing is that I've been working on, and you helped me with this, because one day I was talking to you, and I was bummed because there were some things I wasn't getting, and I was frustrated, and you said focus on the things you do have, not the things you don't have, and I've really trained my mind. Like, it's amazing that you can train your mind to focus on the positive. You can do it. It's just a, it's an exercise. I've been writing down, this is so fucking cheesy, people are going to be like, what happened to you, Kate? But I've been writing down, like, 10 things every day that I'm thankful for. And sometimes when I'm sad, I'll start doing that and it'll really fix it because the fact is we are so fucking lucky. You're alive. You don't have cancer. You're not going to chemotherapy treatment. Look at you what have, we're doing. You have right $5 now. in your pocket to go to Subway. I can, afford, I can afford this. And get this. a veggie and cheese sandwich. Yeah. You're breathing. I mean, yeah. every morning I wake up, when I was 21, I didn't have that perspective. Yeah. When I was 21, I'm broke. I'm a loser and I'm miserable. But it was all revol revolved around money. Money was going to make it so much better. And yeah. By the time I got to 40, I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm fucking ecstatic. I'm at the comedy store right now. I may have $8.22 in my That's checking it. account. But I'm ecstatic. There's a line in Narcos, Mexico. That Narcos, Mexico, it's about Kiki Camarena. And at the end... You know, if you haven't seen Narcos Mexico, you're not going to watch it. And I don't give a fuck if I spoil your thing. Well, Game of Thrones, I don't give a fuck. Go fuck your brother. <laughs> fuck you and Game of Joey, Thrones. Joey, calm down. So, <laughs> yeah, Game of Thrones, spoiler. Don't, don't fuck no, you spit in your fucking mouth, Game of Thrones. Will you stop? Go, so, go back to Narcos. <laughs> and he, and there's a scene when he's interviewing, when he thinks he looks out into the ocean and he remembers his interview with Kiki Camarena. And he lights a cigarette and he goes, I do these because... Now, here's Key Camarena sitting there with his eye out of his fucking head with drill bits getting put through his leg. And this guy walks in and he takes the guys out and he's telling them why he's doing this. Yeah. He goes, tell them what you want and you go home. And the guy's telling them, I have kids, please send me home. And this guy just starts talking. Diego Luna, who's a phenomenal actor, and he goes, he goes, he like goes to light a cigarette and he goes, I, I use these because they reduce stress. And he goes, you know what's crazy? That when I was broke, I slept like a baby. 
And now that I have money, I can't sleep at night. That is that's my the real shit. My head blew up. That's so because real. When I was broke and I had nothing, I slept like a baby. It's so real. And now I sleep two, three hours a night. And you think about that sentence, and it's what I'm telling you, people. We focus on the wrong thing. So money is times. nothing. And money is garbage. It's money nothing. will come and go. It's a worse addiction than cocaine. Once you take money out of the picture and you go, wow, I'm doing this because I love it. That's I it. I genuinely love this. I could get up every morning and do this for free, whether it's taking it in the ass or fucking building <laughs> fireplaces or lighting Jews on fire. <laughs> this is what you like. That's, that's, and you do it for do free. <laughs> don't do this, but I'm just making a point here. I won't get a BMW, but I'll light them on this fire. This is what you do for a <laughs> I mean, I would never light a Jew on fire. <laughs> Not and you. I wouldn't get a BMW. He might light me on fire. Well, no. he might. He probably has. No. Well, my point <laughs> is that until you really fall in love with that thing. It's and, true. And look at the sky and go, I'm living in a hovel. That's it. I got rats. I'm sharing a sandwich with a rat. I've done that. But boy, literally, <laughs> do I love what I do. And all of a sudden, a month after that, God will unload a suitcase on you of dollar bills. It's true. And you think you're a fucking stripper. When you think you don't need it, it shows up. you think you don't up. need it, it shows, it shows up. up. If it's two in the afternoon and you ain't high, go fuck yourself. Get out of my face. <laughs> I want you around me like I want cancer in my ball sack. You know what I'm saying? You're going to come around here looking at me with your fucking white eyes. Thinking that you know I'm gonna re I'm gonna reform. Go fuck yourself. My morning starts at 5:30 a.m. Either you're there or you're square. You know what I'm saying?